The Commission of the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, OECS, in cooperation with the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, UNTAD, with support from the Secretariat for the Convention on Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, hosted a stakeholder consultation and validation event for the UNTAD OECS Blue Biotrade Project. More from Anisia Antoine. The dual thrust of the UNTAD OECS Blue Biotrade Project focused on empowering small-scale coastal producers from the OECS member states to capitalize on the briskly increase in global demand for marine-based bioresources like the queen conch and high-value algae like sea moss. At the consultation and validation event, stakeholders were informed of the research findings and evidence-based policy solutions that will serve as a basis for delivering tailor-made capacity building activities in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Grenada and St. Lucia. Chief Fisheries Officer Sarita Williams-Peter highlighted one of the most important objectives of the project as increasing economic opportunities for coastal communities through the reduction of trade barriers to regional and international markets. So right now what has been done, they've done a study to look at what the potential for trade and investment, export markets, etc., what, what the findings of that study is being uh, displayed today. And we are getting inputs from various fisher folk and other stakeholders into that study. That's very important because as it starts with a study, it helps us understand where can we go with the industry? What, is, what are the potentials for the industry for increasing opportunities for livelihoods um, in the sector? One of the project's main findings is the possibility of trade with French Caribbean countries. Economic consultant and coordinator of the Blue Biotrade Project, Alexander Govan, emphasized the importance of continuing collaboration with the government of St. Lucia in order to maximize the value of the Queen Conch product, which includes the shells as well as the pearls found in the conch. St. Lucia is very special in terms of the Queen Conch production because you guys have very deep Queen Conch, which means it actually is of a very unique value. Um, unfortunately, you guys cannot legally export right now to Martinique. And if you were able to legally export to Martinique, St. Lucian producers would be able to capture a much, much higher value. So we're hoping right now to be able to figure out how to legally export um, to the European Union so that St. Lucian producers can get the highest possible price for their very, very special product. Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Honorable Alfred Prosper, expressed gratitude to the OECS and other stakeholders for their commitment towards implementing the Biotrade Project and harnessing the economic opportunities inherent in the effective stewardship of Caribbean marine resources. The participation of the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development of St. Lucia in the Blue Biotrade Project reflects our commitment to pursuing the sustainable development of our ocean and fisheries resources. Today, I hope that you as key stakeholders and constituents involved in the conch trade share your opinion and views on how you would like this industry to move forward. We will be listening closely to what you have to say and incorporating these views into the work of the ministry. Minister Prosper stated that whilst the project's goal is to ensure that small-scale coastal producers within and outside of the selected Caribbean countries benefit from trade opportunities in the Queen Conch value chain, the importance of ensuring the sustainability of the ocean's resources should not be overlooked. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anisia Antoine reporting.